Hi everybody, today I thought we'd have a little bit of fun with the new vehicle that's been added to the Daisy Steam PC Workshop and that is Sauerkraut's golf cart. So we're going to have a little bit of a look at the golf cart itself and then we'll have a little bit of a look at the server files as well if you need a little bit of help understanding how they work. I'll put the link in the description below this video. Now what's really cool is this mod does not have any dependencies so just subscribe to it and you'll have uh, access to it. Um, and uh, here we go. We get a few different color options here. We have a, there's a blue one you can spawn in. There's beige, and then we have red, and we have green. And rather handily, not only do the golf carts have their own inventory storage, but you can also put barrels in the back of them for more storage. And also, there's drink holders <laughs> for a couple of cans, which is really cool. In fact, if we have a look, you can see here. Um, it uses the car battery, uh, sorry, it uses the truck battery. Um, you can see we've got the uh, the wheels and the spare, then we've got the drinks, then we've got the barrels, and then we've got the uh, internal storage for the golf cart itself. Um, and there's the kind of wheels you'll use, there's the truck battery, and of course you can add a fire barrel as well. You drive it very similar to a car, uh, you just get in, um, you uh, left click to turn it on, and then we're away. We've got two gears. We've got maximum speed of about 45 kilometers now. Feels like you're going much faster. Maybe, excuse me, you're a little bit closer to the ground, or maybe it's the fact that the bonnet is so small, uh, but it's an awful lot of fun to hoon around in this thing. Could this be the ultimate admin vehicle? You know, you can imagine you've got your admin stuff on and you spawn in. Maybe there's some players up to no good, and you roll up on them. <laughs> In this thing, and uh, I don't know, it would be really funny. But then again, you could have them scattered around, can't you? Certain areas. I don't think there's any golf courses on the vanilla maps anywhere, is there? Um, but there may well be some in some of the modded maps. But I'm trying to think of places that might have a golf cart. And would there have been many golf carts in post Soviet, um, sort of Eastern Europe, sort of Baltic area? Um, I guess that there might have been like a Soviet version of a golf cart. There must have been, wasn't there, for the the party members to use. And the Berlin Wall was, was down, wasn't it, by the time the events in Daisy started. So that somebody must have had some golf carts. Um, anyway, so let's um, get out and let's have a look at the server files, which are very useful, I have to say. So once you've subscribed and you've opened up the Daisy Launcher, the mod will download to your uh, Daisy Workshop folder, which will be somewhere like C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Daisy, and then Exclamation Workshop. Sometimes this folder is hidden, um, so you just have to change the uh, the permissions for that, um, and you'll see it under Golf Cup, nice and easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm kind of install it on my local server. But if you've installed mods before, you'll have a good idea what you're doing. So you're going to upload Golf Cart to your remote server, or as in my case, I've uh, just copied it across to my local server here. So there it is. And then what we need to do is you need to go in, you need to go into the keys, and you need to copy the key from the mod, and then you need to paste that into the key folder in your server. Um, and that will sort that bit out. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to make sure our server starts with the mod. So uh, with a local server, we have access to the Windows batch file that starts it, um, which is here. Um, and you'll have a start line, something like that. The rest of this might be a bit different. And then within that start line, you'll have the mod section. And as you can see, behind my other mods, behind a semicolon, we've got at golf cart. If you're doing this on a remote server, then um, you might have access to the, the batch file, or you may have it, for example, in Nitrado in the additional mod section in the settings. And as you can see, after a semicolon, so I've got other mods, I've put at golf cart on there. Um, now, what's very, very useful is that Sauerkraut has included the mission files as well. So if you go into the golf cart, uh, here we go, and go into golf cart server files, we have the MP missions. Now there's a couple of ways that you can do this stuff here. Um, he's got additions for Chernus and Livonia. What you can do is if you go, what you can, if you upload that whole for folder, so golf cart to the root to the root directory of your mission on your server. 
so it looks like uh, this so so imagine this is your your server so that's the mission folder and then within the mission folder I've got golf cart and within golf cart we've got golf cart spawnable types and golf cart types if you do that and then you open up um, your what's it called your CFG economy core file there it is like that there we go and then as sauerkraut says uh, within the mod itself Uh, so add to CFG economy's core here if we open this up So if you add that there to your CFG economy core what will happen is that the daisy server.exe will look into the golf cart folder and Read the additions to golf cart types and golf cart spawnable types and add them in however if you don't want to do it that way what you can also do, if you're more familiar with doing it where you just add the whole thing in, what you could do is you go into golf cart, go into golf cart types, and then just copy uh, all of these bits here into your vanilla or your modded types like XML file. Don't copy the bottom bits. And then if you're using a trader, remember to change the lifetime to um, whatever that is. So, um, 38 million eight. 3,888,000 so that they don't despawn. Similarly, you can do the same with golf cart spawnable types. So if you copy all of this stuff like that into your spawnable types file and then save that, that will add them in. Now, because the CFG economy core doesn't control um, uh, see uh, events and event spawns you need to add these in manually as well uh, manually anyway as well so if we open up add to events so you're going to go into your events file and you're going to add that in um, and then you're going to go into your cfg event spawns and you're going to add those coordinates in for the golf cart and there's coordinates for Chernus and there's coordinates for Livonia as well once you've done all those things and you've saved and you've restarted your server on the server restart the golf carts should uh, then start to appear and you can have um, great fun hooning around these would be great for a race actually wouldn't they I think Sauerkraut uses it for the various um, Taskmaster events and other events he runs um, because <laughs> They're lots of fun, and because I guess because there's no radiator to break, they're probably quite tough as well. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, interesting, interesting, interesting. So anyway, well done to Sauerkraut for coming up with and uh, creating such a fun mod. Um, and uh, yeah, all the links are in the description of the video, so you can install them on your server should you wish. Anyway, that's enough from me. If you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more, the same, press subscribe, and I will of course see you again soon.